we have to make this entire world into Adir B'tachtayim. How do we make the whole world into Adir B'tachtayim? So it's a system, Dr. Rebbe says, first of all, you should know that when you do a mitzvah, obviously, so you're making your nefesh abahamas, which is klipa, right? You're transforming that, and you're bringing the iron and safat to your nefesh abahamas. And also with, which, with whichever object you happen to be doing the mitzvah, whether it's doimim, whether it's semeach, whether it's chai, and he gives examples from each one. He gives the doimim if you give money to tzedakah. Semeach is if uh, an asterisk that you use. Chai is if um, you take a parchment, the, the, the height of an animal, and you use it for sefer it's film mezuzah. Whatever object you're doing a mitzvah with, you're bringing the air and soft into that object too. That's beautiful, that's wonderful. But if we go along that path, we're not elevating the entire world. Think about it. What, what percentage of objects in this world are directly used for, for doing mitzvahs? Very little. Percentage. What percentage did you say? Less than one. Less than 0.0001%, right? There are a billion people in China. So let's just put it that way. And how are we elevating China? So he thought, let's put it in a little more systematic way. There are 600,000 root neshamas. Every one of those neshamas further subdivides into 600,000. So um, that's, I don't know, 3.4 trillion neshamas. We're talking about the neshamas of all the generations. Bishvili nivra ha'olam and Bishvili Yisrael nivra ha'olam. The whole world was created for Klal Yisrael. Be'ez Reishis, right? The world was created for Klal Yisrael and for Torah, which means that the whole world was created so that a Yid can go and do Torah and mitzvahs. And because Hashem is a master craftsman, the master craftsman, so imagine like you have a person who builds a house for themselves, and afterwards you tour the house and you say, what's this room for? I don't know, there's doesn't have any function, just uh, it was by mistake was put in this room. There's no such thing. When you build a home, every single part of your home has a function, has a purpose. So therefore, if Hashem creates the world, and the world is for Bishvili Yisrael, Bishvili Atayra, then by definition it doesn't mean just that the world as a whole was created for the Eden, but that means that every single element. So therefore what you have is this world is essentially divided into 600,000 parts, or 600,000 times 600,000. When I say I don't mean necessarily equal parts, but I mean is that every single thing that Hashem created has a purpose. And the purpose is to help a certain Yid learn Torah or do mitzvahs. Otherwise it would not exist. If I sit and I, and, and, and I learn Torah or do mitzvahs, what I do is, automatically I elevate my nefesh abahamis. I bring the air and stuff onto my nefesh abahamis. But my nefesh abahamis has a support system. Meaning, my nefesh Bahamas can't survive. My nefesh alikis is immortal. My nefesh Bahamas is my nefesh Bahamas. In order for it to survive, it needs food, it needs drink, it needs clothing, it needs a house, it needs whatever other amenities, it needs soap and shampoo, whatever else my nefesh Bahamas needs. And I elevate my nefesh Bahamas, the entire support system of my nefesh Bahamas become elevated. All the, th- all the thousand, all the billion people in China and all their factories, they're all busy creating things or part of a support system. So for example, the person who runs a hot, hot dog stand somewhere in the, in the middle of a desert place in China, that person is there to provide the hot dog for the worker who's making the button for my suit. And ultimately, when I do a mitzvah, that hot dog stand also becomes, uh, becomes, uh, becomes elevated. Because you have to understand, why did Hashem create a hot dog stand in the middle of China? It has to be for a yid or it wouldn't exist. So when I sit here in Brooklyn, and I do a mitzvah, and I elevate my nefesh Bahamas, I am having a global impact. Every single yid has an entire support system. And every yid, and that's why me and you and you and you are so important. Every single one of us. It's not just that... In order to bring Mashiach, we need 20 million mitzvahs. So uh, then I could say, okay, so you know what, I'm not going to do the mitzvahs. Why? Reuven, I'm putting you in charge of my mitzvahs. I'm too lazy to do my mitzvahs. So let's say I was supposed to do 100 mitzvahs. I need you to do, and you're supposed to do 100. I want you to do 200. Be me, be me moitzi. You're fine with that? 
<laughs> Why doesn't that work? Because it's not about a quantity. It's the understanding that every single one of us has a part of the world that we have to elevate. And we, no one else can elevate it because that part of the world was created for me. I have to elevate that part. And you know what? If I'm not going to elevate that part, I'm going to have to come back in another Gilgal to elevate it. Because it has to happen. A Mashiach has to come. And the whole world has to become a Dirbet Tachtoinim. 